We are tipping off the 2K TV virtual rap party in the theater. A 76 is anxious to get off the bus and get down to business. A look from earlier as they arrived at the arena. Welcome, everyone. Let's get ready for some NBA basketball on 2K Sports. Kevin Harlan here, joined by our analyst, Greg Anthony, and Hall of Famer, Doris Burke. Plus, reporting from the sidelines, another Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. Now a look at Philadelphia's starting lineup. The pairing up front is Harris and Embiid. Taxi out there with Lowry, and it's Oubre in at the small forward. And for Boston, the wing pairing, it's White and Brown. Chris Stapps Przingis is out there with Jason Tatum. And it's Holiday in at the point guard position. And we know, Greg, most of the talk coming into this game focused on the front court matchup. A lot of talent in the low post here. And, you know, a lot of times that means it'll come down to the rebounding battle. Whoever controls the boards will have a big leg up in the physical and mental aspect of this game. It'll be the Celtics off the tip. Here's Tatum. And there's the whistle. Illegal screen. When a pick like that is questionable and creates that much of an advantage for the offense, you have to blow the whistle. I don't think there's any question. There are so many rules that favor the offense these days. You've got to be able to equal things out when an illegal screen is set. Celtics on offense. Outside, White takes it inside. Passes it to Holiday. Tatum against Harris. Yep, it counts. Now that mid-range jumper is so on point. Jason Tatum is a three-level scorer. Bounce pass from Lowry. Embiid finds Oubre. Harris outside. Porzingis against Embiid. Just five on the clock. Knocked away. Here in the first, a little over a minute played so far. Bucket is good. Tatum has turned himself into one of the best finishers in the league. It's a point of pride for him. Lowry with the ball. Now guarded by Porzingis. Offensive rebound. Taxi passes to Harris. Brown against Zubre. The 76ers with another miss. And here's White. He'll bring it up for Boston. And that one is off. Some solid defense from Maxi. For Philadelphia, they've gone 0-4, missing their first four field goals here. Harris outside. Maxi against White. Now, here's Maxi. Defense is right there. And here's Harris from the arc. And that's collected by Drew Holiday. The Celtics have gone 2 or 3 here to start out the game. And, Greg, while the Sixers have been affected time and again, they've been unable to get past the conference semifinal. Where they bowed out in five of the last six years. But you go back, they haven't made it any further since Allen Iverson led them to the finals back in 01. That will help your assist numbers if you're Derek White. You can't miss that guy. And the 76ers decide to take their first time out here. And, Greg, the way the Celtics have approached this season in terms of intensity, I think they clearly feel, though, they have unfinished business. They've been so close to a title for a number of years. They've even been title favorites at times. It's part of the maturation process as excruciating as it may be.
And here in the first, approaching three minutes played, Ubre dishes to Lowry. I got him. Back to Ubre. Just five to shoot. Tatum with it. Now defended by Ubre. Tatum passes to Brock. Pulls it from the elbow. And that one drops. Sweet little mid-range from Jalen Brown. That three-level scoring coming into play. Harris against Tatum. Harris inside. Now on the scoring column with that bucket. One for two this game. And that ends the struggle. You can feel the tensions in the building with each miss. And you've got to be able to show some resiliency, right? Keep pounding away, and it finally falls for you. Now here is Holiday. Doesn't go that time. Good work defensively by Lowry. White against Maxi. Over to the wing. Six on the shot clock. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. It's on Przingis. It's his first trip to the line. First free throw is good. And the Celtics making a change here. Horford's checked in. Maxi hit some both. As we've talked about Boston's young talent for so long, they've now become battle-tested veterans. And it's incredible how young that that experience has taken hold. They have had players build big roles in so many big games. What a strong foundation, and now you've just got to keep building. Now Oubre after Jalen Brown's three-pointer that didn't go. Second shot opportunity. Jalen Brown with the rebound. The defense ready for him on that possession. They had to be because he is so strong in the paint. Oubre passes to Harris. Up and in. Off to an efficient start. Two for three from the field. Excellent recognition from Kelly Oubre right there. So solid sensing when one of his guys is open. Holiday the pass to Tatum. It's hauled in by Harris. And it's Lowry with the ball. Brings it up for the 76er. Trailing by two. And, and, and typically he has the touch to finish when he's in tight, but not sure on that possession. Now here's White. Kelly Oubre unable to get his last shot to go. And here's Tatum for three. It's not going to fall. He's taken four shots and made two. Here's Harris. That misses had a chance to tie it there. Well, this is how you shut him down. A tremendous contest against a very skilled player. Holiday, the pass to White. Tatum wide open. He fires one. Boston again missing. Philadelphia's gone 0 of 2 from deep here. Maxi on the wing. No good. That would have tied it. The Celtics have gone 4 of 10 shooting the ball here in the first quarter. Brown with the bounce pass. And White kicks to Tatum. It's Brown on the wing. They could use a bucket. Good on the bucket. Brown's got his second bucket. 
Now Jason Tatum has become an extraordinary passer. This guy knows the attention he draws, just gets his teammates involved. And the 76ers call time here. No doubt, Craig, Jason Tatum is an all-NBA player, and this guy continues to improve. And JT's scoring average increasing in each of his first five seasons. I just love how he gets to the line more, being more aggressive. Tatum was the guy on a finals team at just 24 years old. Richard, he's checked in for Derek White. The 76ers also with a sub. Heald's checked in for Oubre. The 76ers trailed by four. Outside Lowry. Here's Harris. Great D that time from Tatum. And that is a textbook example of how to defend your rim. That boy, to have someone back there who can erase your mistakes. What a big time asset defensively. Now here is Holiday. Pass to Pritchard. Takes the three. That one's rebounded by Embiid. Embiid's got his fifth rebound in this one. Outside, Maxi lays it up off the glass. And their post play has been really solid right off the bat. The Celtics have gone 5 of 12 from the field since the opening tip. Now here is Holiday. Launches a three. Rebound by Kyle Lowry. The 76ers trail. Outside, Maxi. They grab their own miss. The game now all time. And talk about effort. Embiid staying with that one. The Celtics shooting in this first quarter around 38%. They're looking a bit creaky out there. Brown wide open. He fires. It's good. The assist that time from Holiday. Brown's got seven points in the game. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. You know, we see this all the time. You're basically, as a defender, hoping the man misses rather than putting in the work to get over screens. Harris dishes to Embiid. They get a hand on it. Here's Pritchard. No scoring in this one. And it's Joel Embiid with the rebound. Embiid's got rebound number seven for him tonight. Lowry passes to Maxi. Hands it from downtown. Seven points in the game. Well, Kyle Lowry has spent his entire career finding open teammates. Outside Holiday. Back to Tatum. And the layup is good after a nice lead pass. Six points for Jason Tatum. There is an imagination, a creativity. This guy's passing drives the offense. Harris outside for Lowry. Three pointer. MB. And MB is right there. And really, beyond the skills, you see right there the passion MB has displaying that killer instinct. Now, oh, here's Brown. Seven points in the game. He couldn't believe how open he was. He just couldn't convert it. Field can't hit. And so Brown will bring it up for the Celtics. Good D by Heal. Philadelphia has gone one of five from downtown in the first quarter. Points out there have been hard to come by. Embiid, no good. 
Embiid's gone two for five tonight. And Greg, the massive contract extension for Jalen Brown this past summer, for a time, the richest in NBA history. And you gotta pay to play, or in this case, to contend for titles. With Tatum and Brown, the Celtics have that opportunity. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That free throw good from Brown. Doris looking at the career of Jalen Brown so far. His rise to stardom has been impressive. It's impressive, Kevin, because of the work put in. He needed to become a more complete offensive player by number one improving his handle and number two becoming more efficient with his shooting. He's done both. He's always been a force in transition. Jalen has been special. And Brown drops them both. You have to admire the growth of Jalen Brown. He comes in as an attacking athlete. He's now a better passer and he absolutely is a knockdown three point shooter. Payne's shot is good. And, and look, he's not the best athlete, but he's able to create the space he needs to operate. Outside Holiday. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. There's 138 left in the first quarter. Here's Payne. And trying for the go ahead basket, it doesn't go in. Here's Brown. And finished off by Brown. Well, Jalen Brown has quality handles now. Relentless on the attack when he's got the rock in his hands. Melton feeling it out a bit. The pass to heel. And taken away by Brown. It's going by heel. And the dunk by Reed. Uh, this guy has made giant strides in his playmaking. Nice setup by Buddy Heald right there. On the wing, Holiday. There's 45 seconds left to play in the first. No basket with that shot. Having trouble finding his range, he's one for five. Healed against Brown. Pass to Melton. Clock at four from 15 feet away. And Boston with the rebound. Brown's got four rebounds in this game. In a fast break now for the Celtics. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. All oh, the officials are all over that one. The Celtics have gone two for two in the game at the line. And, and when you got a team percentage of about 81%, you're going to be one of the elites in this league. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First one falls for him. And the Celtics making a change here. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. 17 seconds left in the first quarter. Healed outside. Off the left rim and up. One quarter in the books, and it's been a close one so far. Celtics lead by two. Stay with us as we get set to bring you the second quarter right after this. Getting going again here in the second quarter. Fairly close game so far. And the Celtics guys, what jumps out to you, stats-wise? Well, credit their anticipation skills 
on the defensive end. They forced a number of turnovers. And a few of those led to quick scores at the other end. Really active first quarter for them. And here are the 76ers now. Trailing by two. They've got Porzingis. And it's Tillman in at the four. That's the Boston five. Payne's shot is good. The Celtics shooting a lackluster 38% for the game, struggling so far. Outside, White. The three. Good on the three point shot. You have to have a quick release in the catch and shoot game. Otherwise, you allow the defender to catch up. Derek White's like, no, sir, I'm putting this one home. Now heel. Still without a basket. Here's Batum. Tillman grabs the miss. Celtics leading by three. Inside. Here's White. The layup off target. And his defense so valuable. Not many can bother that shot at the rim. Boy, you see the effort. You see the range. This guy prides himself in his ability to shut you down. And Boston has possession. 76ers getting the bucket. Passes it to Hauser. Back to White. Greg, there's been a scoring surge throughout the league. Is that due to poor defense, or is it to the rising talent level? Listen, teams are still defending, and the rules might have helped some. There is no doubt that there's not as much grabbing and holding. But these guys are scoring from all over the court and doing things we've just never seen before. A moment now to hear from our sideline reporter, Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. David. Thank you, Kevin. Well, back in grade school, when Jason Tatum told folks his NBA goals, they'd often suggest a backup plan. And he said, I always would tell them, I don't have one. I'm going to make this work regardless. Nothing else matters. Kevin? Oh, I like that. It's worked out, David. Thanks so much. Now here's Heald. The dish to read. Heald kicks to Payne. Read with it. Five on the clock. Now here's Payne. Defense right on him. Beat the shot clock, but it's off the mark. Here's Pritchard. There we go. Now in the scoring column with that make, he is one for four. And they've done well at taking advantage of some late defensive rotations and getting the ball in the paint. Matum finds Payne. Throws it up high. And the dunk by Reed. And you can see him give a little nod and then just burst to the rim for the alley-oop slam. A pair of teammates, Greg, with a terrific feel for each other. Here's Pritchard. Pass to Hauser. It's good. He makes his first shot of the game. You can't just stop when there's a pick set up. Got to fight over it as a defender. You know exactly what that takes. It takes energy. It takes activity. It takes intensity. Now, here's Melton. Still scoreless. Down low, Reed. Nice D from Porzingis. For Boston, they've gone three of seven shooting the ball here in the second quarter. To the left side wing. That one a little long. 76ers have gone four of seven from the field in this second quarter so far. Healed right side. Rebounded by Hauser. The Celtics with the lead. And the pass to Persingas. Can't hit that one. And here's Melton. He'll bring it up for the 76ers. Right wing. From 13. Another miss by Philadelphia. Austin's gone one or two on three corners here in the second quarter so far. 
Here's White. Buried from 15 feet out. White's got five now. You have to be dialed in from the mid-range. Derek White says, I can do that too, folks. And the 76ers call time here. Good timing. Uh, they're really struggling offensively. Sometimes it just feels like misses become contagious. He wants to settle his guys down right now. So it's both teams making substitutions here. Right side Maxi shoots off the step back, and it's White with the rebound. Celtics leading by three. To the inside. Here's Tatum. And too much time in the lane. They get called for the three-second violation. For Philadelphia, they've gone 4 of 10 in the second quarter from the field. Maxi passes to Harris. Can they get it? Rebounded by the Celtics. Tatum's got four rebounds now tonight. Out to the wing. Here's Pritchard, covered by Oubre. And the officials call him for a three-second violation. The 76ers trail by three. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Harris inside. Tatum on him. Harris's shot is off. And he did everything he could to make that shot as difficult as possible. We call that a great contest. You know this is something he brings to the table, the ability to anchor your defense. Now, here's Maxi. Seven points in the game. Back to Harris. Five to shoot. Shoots. And it's in after a nice bounce off the right side. Harris has got six. Well, you won't see that kind of shot fall very often. Thank your lucky stars. Oubre against Brown. Left side, Porzingis. He's over Embiid. Porzingis can't hit. You're not going to see that very often. Plenty of space, but he just, let's face it, he whiffs on that one. Pass to Maxi. Pass to Embiid. And stolen by White. Tatum deciding where to go with it. Tatum slips by the contact inside. And now we'll get a perspective here on the hustle game. How it's been going for Boston. Right off the bat, they're going after the ball. Looking to jump into the passing lanes and create some steals in transition. And boy, have they started out quick, running the floor, taking advantage of their speed. And here's Tatum. He'll bring it up for the Celtics. It's a five-point game. 
And you talk about a tough matchup, Doris, for teams against this one. Kristaps Porzingis. He is a tough cover. Yeah, listen, Kev, this guy has that rare combination of both size and skill, increasingly more efficient, and when he's healthy, he's really been a problem. Here's Max following the bucket by the Celtics, driving to the basket. Back to Embiid. Lock at six. Oh, Embiid just overpowers the defense inside. A willingness to get really physical and be willing to throw some serious muscle around. Back to Tatum. The shot's good. Brown making the play. Brown's got three assists in the game. Coming off a big game, his confidence couldn't be higher, and Coach knows it. Well, the best players, to me, deliver night after night after night. So as long as he's hot, keep riding it. Well, put all that size to good use. Rip it off the backboard. Here's Pritchard. Right side, White. Fires for three. And MB pulls it down. Embiid's got 11 rebounds in the game. Here's Maxi. Second chance shot. Embiid bulldozing inside. It's just so tough to knock Embiid off the block. That's his territory. Tatum against Harris. Pass to Brown from past the arc. Tyrese Maxey grabs the miss. Maxey's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Here he goes. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. And this is his second trip to the line tonight. First one falls. Some changes for Boston. Horford comes in for Perzingis, and it's Drew Holiday in for Pritchard. Kyle Lowry, he's checked in for the 76ers. Maxi hits them both. Just solid. Really, one of the very best there is at the free throw line. Harris against Tatum. Beyond the arc. It's hauled in by the 76ers. Outside, Maxi. He kicks it to Harris. Maxi passes to Embiid. Dishes it to Lowry. That's in, coming off the assist from Embiid. Lowry's got his first points of the game. Well, the tenacity of the play by Kyle Lowry pushes through the contact and scores it. Tatum against Harris. Inside, Tatum! It works well there. Not much resistance from the D. It takes incredible effort to stay connected to the hip of the offensive player. You've got to want to work. Philadelphia moving the ball around. Here's Embiid. Good work defensively by Horford. And the activity he shows around the rim is why he is such a respected defender. And what you love about his work defensively, the ability to challenge and change shots without fouling. Lowry kicks to Uber. Here's Embiid. No holding back. Embiid takes it in and showcasing that overwhelming strength. Embiid is so skilled at finishing over the aggressive defense. Up top, Tatum. Wide open shot is on the money. 
Tatum's got 13 points in just this quarter. Guys, that's just really unstoppable. He poses a ton of matchup problems for whomever he's facing. Lowry feeling it out a bit. Shot from the wing. Good. He hits the jump shot. Lowry's got his second bucket of the game to go. What a performance for Jason Tatum. He has been the story so far for Boston. He put together quite a quarter. 13 points in all. And he looks to be planning for more. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks very much here with Nick Nurse. Coach, the efficiency wasn't there in the first half. What adjustments do you need to make? I thought we got pretty good shots, you know, and if we're not going to score, it makes getting our defense set up difficult. So we got to keep shooting them. Hopefully we start making some of them. Now you can't score until you shoot, Coach. Thanks. Back to you. All right, David, thank you, and stay with us, folks. We'll be back just after halftime to get the third quarter started. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello again, folks. Ernie Johnson here with Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. It's the NBA on 2K Sports, and let's talk the first half. There was no stopping Jason Tatum in the first half. He ended up with 19 points, five rebounds, and one steal. And taking a look at the Celtics, Kenny, what did you see out there? What you like is many of their baskets come off a six. That's a sign of a team that's working together and functioning at a high level. No need to have this hero ball. Right I'm going to shoot, and no one else is going to get the ball. Nope, they moved it, and we'll see if they can keep it up in the second half. And over to Shaq. What did you think about Philadelphia? Their inside attack has been overwhelming. Hard to beat someone when they're living at the rim. These guys are imposing their will physically. Hey, you got to keep pounding them. And now with the second half about to get underway, let's send you back courtside. See you, everybody, with Kevin Harley. have a basketball upon us. We may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game it's been so far. And you know, guys, Jason Tatum has really been making it happen. And, and you know he's going to put up points every time out, but boy, he made it look so easy in that first half. Now let's see if he continues that trend the rest of the way. He certainly has the talent and the endurance to do just that. And in that first half, we saw a pretty tight battle. We'll soon find out what sort of adjustments were discussed during the half. So on the floor for Philadelphia. The pairing up front is Harris and Embiid. Lowry out there with Tyrese Maxey. And it's Oubre in at the three spot. And slam dunk by Maxey. And, and some hang time on the rim. Puts a little cherry on the top of that slam. Well, those kind of displays of strength can get one team rolling. Now here is Holiday. from the line it's hauled in by Harris he is single-handedly dropping the temperature in here with that cold string he is trying to shoot his way out of it and it might be better for him to pass the basketball at this point it's time now to hear from our Hall of Fame reporter David Aldridge what's the latest David thank you Kevin the Celtics are playing with a high level of motivation all-star Jason Tatum says what we talk about before the game halftime is win by any cost by any means figure it out win the game and build great habits along the way Kevin still room to grow David thanks there's the pass to Persingas the shots good Brown making the play and the Celtics lead by two Boy, what a pass by Jalen Brown. Probably one of his most improved areas. Pass to Harris. And Boston with the rebound. Tatum's got six rebounds in the game. On the wing, Brown. Driving the lane. That shot off. Great D that time from Oubre. Maxie against White. 
Axie passes to Ubre. Over Brown. Ubre can't get it to go. The Celtics have gone one of three since starting the second half. And Holiday has it in the corner. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. Harris has got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. And slam dunk by Maxi. Just the kind of play they need in a game this close. You know, that's the kind of aggression they want from their floor leader. Boy, and not just the aggression, the ability to get to the ring, but how about the finish with intention? <laughs> and it's the Celtics with the ball. Philadelphia getting their last shot to go. The shot by Holiday, no good. And Zulawi will bring it up for the 76ers. They've only allowed two points so far here in the second half. To the middle. Here's Harris. No luck that time in the shot that would have put them on top. Right side, White. Whistle blows. Basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. Gentlemen, that is about excellent concentration from Derek White. You play through the foul. Now you get the old-fashioned three-point opportunity. The Celtics have looked good at the line tonight. They're perfect in four attempts. for White. I think the thing that's most striking about Derek White, guys, he's capable of affecting games in so many ways. Yes, he can score it. Excellent passer and a very versatile cross-positional defender. A guy who can contribute to a good team. Austin leading by three. Here we are looking at Kelly Oubre Jr. He's capable, Doris, of lighting it up on any given night. Kevin, from the moment he stepped into the NBA league, this guy has been a proven scorer. He's got a ton of flair to his game. He's probably best used in that six-man role, though he has put up very good numbers as a starter. I just like his change of pace when he comes off the bench. Celtics have gone three and seven on field goal attempts here in the second half. Here's White, and it's Philadelphia with the rebound. Maxi looking it over. Count it and the foul. That one on White. What a play there. The hoop plus the harm. So far, he's hit all of his shots at the foul line, going four for four. And a very steady season for him at the charity stripe last year. He was right at 85%. All reads checked in for Philadelphia. Throw good, Maxi. And here's Holiday. Passes to Tillman. Kicks to White. Here's Tillman. Pass to Holiday. Down to five on the shot clock. Drives to the hoop. Laid in with a nice touch off the glass. And the Celtics lead by four. An intense competitor. It's clear that Alde enjoys going hard at the defense and finishing on them. Now here's MB. He's got ten. He dishes it to Oubre. Off target from three-point range. Celtics leading by four. It's White on the wing. Back to Holiday. Out to Porzingis. Yes, and it's Holiday with the assist that time. Holiday's got his fourth assist in this one. The 76ers trail by six. To the wing right side. 
it in against Lowry. Oubre, no one around him. The offensive rebound and the dunk by MB. And, and you do not want to be on the receiving end of that. MB throwing it down with some funk. Outside Holiday. The pass to Persingas, and it goes down two points. Persingas has got six in the quarter. And guys, the D has to show a little more fight on the interior than they did on that trip. Here's Maxi. Six for ten with that shot going in. That's a good game for a lot of guys. Well, he's been shooting it so well because he's been so active, moving and working to get high percentage shots. Pass to Hauser. To the paint, trying to find Porzingis. Gets it to him. Good D by Embiid. The 76ers trailed by four. Here's Oubre. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Well, how about the length and athletic ability of Kelly Oubre Jr.? Go ahead in there. Holiday, the pass to Tillman. Down low. Here's Hauser, covered by Oubre. Offensive rebound. And the shot goes in from Chris Depps, Porzingis. And this is something this guy takes pride in, capitalizing on second-chance opportunities. And Philadelphia calls time here. And with their offense sputtering, coaches got to get them back on track. And to me, they're just taking too many tough shots. And when they do get an easy one, the confidence just isn't there. Horford is checked in for Boston. Richard comes in for White. And then for Philadelphia, Nicholas Batum. He's checked in for Joel Embiid. Buddy Heald comes in for Kelly Oubre. And Cameron Payne subbed in for Kyle Lowry. Reed kicks to Batum. Back to Payne. Passes it to Batum. Here's Maxi. Here's Reed, up and in on the layup. Reed's got six points. Well, just it's easy to say, this guy wanted it more, creating the second chance opportunity and cashing in. Maxi against Tullin. Outside, Horford. Yes, and it's Holiday with the assist that time. Horford's got himself on the board with three there. Well, the incredible shooting touch of Al Horford. He added that range game during his time in Atlanta. Maxi against Tullin. Tipped away. Seven-foot shot. It's rebounded by Porzingis. Porzingis has got rebound number eight now on the night. Holiday surveying the floor. That's to Persingas. Here's Pritchard. Fires the three. Rebound by the 76ers. Reed's got his fifth rebound in this one. Maxi against Holiday. Here's healed. And Pritchard pulls it down. 
The pass to Holiday. Here's Pritchard. Payne covering. Here's Persingas. And Philadelphia grabs the miss. Outside, Maxi. In the corner, it's healed. A shot off that time. Celtics leading by five. Pass to Persingas. Batum grabs the miss. And so it's Payne with it. He'll bring it up for the 76ers. No good. And they can't put an end to this drought. Austin's gone one or two from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. And the dunk by Porzingis. Easy money for Kristaps Porzingis. That's 7-3 we're talking about. The 76ers trailed by seven. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum. Outside, Maxi. They get it back. Smooth. Guys, very good job getting himself in close enough that he could just tip it back in. Well said. Those kind of plays in the offensive glass can tell the story sometimes, can't they? Here's Hauser. 76ers getting the bucket. Back to Holiday. Tyrese Maxey grabs the miss. Philadelphia's gotten blank from three-point land so far in the third. Still 0 for 3. Passes it to Heal. Maxi against Holland. Maxi into the lane. Good work defensively by Horford. You know, you can't impact a shot that close any better than he did on that possession. Boy, whether he blocks it or simply alters it, the result is pretty much the same. Here's Pritchard. In close. Misses off the right eye. The defense not a factor there. Very surprising he couldn't capitalize. Payne can't hit. Celtics leading by five. Outside, Porzingis buries it down low. Porzingis has got 12 in the game. It's really tough to game plan for Kristaps Porzingis, one of the top inside-outside threats in the entire NBA. Now, here is Reed. Eight points for him. Maxi against Holiday. Out left of the wing. Here's Payne. Porzingis with the rebound. Porzingis has got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. Pass to Holiday. To the middle. Nice fake, but the layup off the mark. And so it's Boston. Bringing the quarter to a close with a seven-point lead. And it's been their rugged defense setting the tone. And don't go away. We'll be right back. And a worthy candidate tonight as we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. And the definition of teamwork right there, guys. I mean, what great communication between them, and what a beautiful feat. Nothing better than chemistry, right? Working together to create a bucket. The fourth quarter has arrived. So good to have you with us. Celtics leading by seven. The talented wing pair of Brown and Tatum. Then there's Horford. Then it's Holiday. And it's Tillman in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. That's the Boston Five. Now here's Horford. Outside Holiday. Knocks down the three ball. Holiday's got the lead up to 10 now for the Celtics. Out 
Horford is such a tremendous passer as a big man. Wow, does he get work done offensively. Out of bounds, Boston takes possession. You know, simply stated, you have to take care of the basketball, and they don't on that possession. The Celtics shooting from the field, 44%, not bad. Now Holiday outside Tatum. Misses the three. Boy, he won't miss many from that spot. The defense gets lucky there. Shot from free throw range. A second chance effort. And the rejection by Tatum. Lowry finds Oubre. Over Tatum. Kept alive. Here's Melton. Here's Reed. Persistence pays off as they finally hit a shot. Well, deliver the pass where your teammate can do something with it. Nice. And there's the pass to Horford. The dish to Holiday. Shot clock at five. Austin needs to get off a shot. Tatum down low. Covered by Oubre. You know, two things happen there. Excellent coverage on the shot, and then finish the possession securing the boards. Holiday, the pass to Horford. Shoots over Oubre. That misses off the backboard. The 76ers trail by eight. Game moves along. Two minutes gone here in the fourth. And Tatum pulls it down. Tatum's got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. Back to Holiday. Pass to Horford. The kick out to Brown. And another miss by Boston. And so it's Oubre with it. He brings it up for the 76ers. They played a great fourth quarter defensively, allowing only three points. Now here's Lowry. Passes it to Melton. Oubre with it. Outside Lowry. And Boston with the rebound. Holiday's got four rebounds now tonight. To the inside, Horford. And the dunk by Horford. Savvy play from Holiday. Quick thinking helps him get the ball to the wide open man. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Pass to Reed. Inside. Here's Harris. And the layup is good. And it's eight points for Tobias Harris. Well, we see a lot of emphasis on three-point shooting nowadays. But you'll take that look right there any night of the week. Holiday dishes to Tatum. Now the pass to Horford. And he uses the glass on the layup. That's seven points for Al Horford. To me, that play is about focus from Al Horford. Just extraordinary body control on the finish. Nice. Count that bucket. Unselfishness can be infectious. Terrific teamwork. Celtics leading by eight. Pass to Brock. To the middle. And there's Horford. That's good on the assist by Brown. Horford's got six here in this quarter. Well, efficiency of movement makes Al Horford successful. Gets room to shoot in these sets. Reed kicks to Lowry. Back to Reed. Good for another bucket. He's made half a dozen now. Six for eight on the night. Well, it's his intelligence that puts Kyle Lowry up there with the top assist men in the NBA. Here's Holiday. And it's Reed pulling it down. Reed's got 10 rebounds here tonight. So active. Holiday against Lowry. Passes to Oubre. There's the three. The shot's good on the assist by Lowry. Lowry's got his fifth assist in this one. Well, you have to respect how fast Kelly Oubre gets his shot off in catch-and-shoot situations. Now here is
is Horford. Tatum passes the ball. Shot clock at six. Offensive rebound. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. And the Celtics lead by seven. And those second chance points really become almost like bonus points when you can get them. And they pick up two. Well, this is something we've seen over and over and over again with Kyle Lowry. Go ahead, make a contested J. Here's Brown after the made shot from Kyle Lowry. And here is Brown. He takes it in. Some solid defense from Reed. The 76ers trailed by five. Philadelphia moving the ball around. And the dunk by Reed. And he's an automatic finisher when he gets into that area. He is, and he picks the simple one-hand stuff to get the two points. Now a timeout called by Boston. The short rest, very important, and one of the benefits of this part of the game is getting on the same page with your team while having the chance to hydrate with Gatorade. Replenish your energy for the late-game push. And now we present our New Balance Player of the Game, Jason Tatum. And I would point to his shooting percentage as the key reason he's our pick. And that sounds simple, but he hadn't tried to do too much. He hasn't tried to force his shots. Just kind of waited and worked to get good looks. And in the end, he's found plenty of them. With a short break in the action, gives us a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge. Thanks, guys. During the break, listen in to Joe Mazzula and his team. He told his guys to max it out on the three. If those shots aren't coming, then we need to move on. There are other looks for us out there. We want some diversity in those shot attempts, guys. Thanks, David. Now, here's Brown. It's over Oubre. Brown's shot is good. Boy, you cannot leave him alone like that. Good form on the fadeaway jumper. Lowry again, Tully. Pass to Harris. And the basket is good. And it does a world of good for them to have Harris getting busy inside. Gives them that inside-out edge they're looking for. Now here's White. And Joel Embiid pulls it down. Embiid's got rebound number 19 now. Incredible board work. Lowry against Holiday. Let's it go from 11. Lowry can't get it to go. And so Holiday will bring it up for the Celtics. They've led by as much as 10. Outside White. Brown right side. And dead on that time. Beautiful shot. And the Celtics lead by five. Well, you catch the defense off guard by being willing to fire as soon as the ball touches your hands. Holiday with the block. Lowry can't get it to go. And, and he has definitely been struggling in this quarter. And you know what? They keep calling his number, and they're simply trying to get him out of this funk. Oh, and a nice job of turning that miss into two points on the tip end. Hustle points, I believe they call them. Hustle points right there. That one is good from Joel Embiid. And that's right in his wheelhouse, looking to make an impact when it counts. This is a player who understands when the game is hanging in the balance, he knows it's winning time. Now here's Tatum, Brown outside. And Joel Embiid pulls it down. Embiid's got his 20th rebound here tonight. Saw that coming. Heald, and the layup's good off the glass. Great concentration by Buddy Heald right there. Boy, despite taking the bump, finishes anyway. Tatum again, Terrace. A shot. Tatum no good. The 76ers trail by three. Oubre on the wing. To the inside. There's Embiid with the dunk. Big moment, Embiid is your guy. He's always ready to go on the attack. Outside Holiday. 
White looking around. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. You simply have to respect the shooting touch with Porzingis. That time, he gets the defender closing out, but nowhere near in time. And a chance for just a second to check out the scoring breakdown for the Celtics. And guys, how about the unselfishness and all about working that ball around, shifting the defense, and just seeking out the best shot? And another theme in this game to me, guys, has been how lethal they've been in transition. Attack on the break and make sure you convert. And both free throws good for Porzingis. This is what makes him a challenge to stop. He will beat you from the floor, and he can also beat you from the line. And Philadelphia calls time here. Trying to snap them out of this little slump. Just feels like the basket is looking awfully small to them right now. They're having a hard time getting anything to fall. The 76ers trail by three. Healed outside. He feeds it to Harris. That one doesn't go. Great D that time from Tatum. For the finish. And it's Tatum completing the break. Jason Tatum under duress. Big moment, no problem. Philadelphia's gone one or two from three-point range here in the fourth. To the paint. Here's Embiid. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. It's on Przingis. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. I really don't think there's a more impactful player in the league. Even on nights when his stats don't show it, Embiid changes everything when he's on the floor. And Embiid drops them both. Well, this is why you run your offense through him in important situations. You know he's going to deliver. The three from Tatum. It's hauled in by the 76ers. Lowry's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Plays it up and banks it in. Lowry's got four points now in the quarter. We've come to expect Kyle Lowry to deliver in the game's most important moments, and he does it again. Here's Tatum. It's hauled in by the 76ers. Yeah, and he had to be tangled up there with that patented crossover. Just couldn't convert the finish. Oubre finds Lowry to take the lead, and it's good off the back of the rim and in. Lowry's got the lead up to one now for the 76ers. Harris against Tatum. And it's White, top of the key. It's hauled in by Harris. Here's Philadelphia. They're on a 12 to 4 run. Here's Heal. White with the defensive effort. 
And the activity he shows around the rim is why he is such a respected defender. And what you love about his work defensively, the ability to challenge and change shots without fouling. So it's Philadelphia now after the basket by Boston. And B, no good. 51 seconds left in the fourth. And here's Tatum for three. And it's Joel Embiid with the rebound. Here's Philadelphia. They trail by one. In the corner, it's healed. Oubre for three. You can't hit that top. The critical possession right here. Crowd on pins and needles, Kev. Celtics passing it around. There's Tatum. Good. So much riding on that shot. What a bucket. I'll tell you, that changes things, doesn't it? Good job, young fella. What a game. And the 76ers call time here. They're behind by three. 23 seconds left in the fourth quarter. What's your take, guys? And it's do or die time. Now they need a bucket here to stay alive. And it's either got to be a three-pointer or a score quickly and take the foul. Bobbed up there for MB. Zingas with the steal. And they foul intentionally. They're going to have to do that now again and again. They're not in the penalty yet. Honestly, just doing what they have to in order to get the basketball back. And here's Brown. He'll bring it up for the Boston Celtics. And they go to the intentional foul. the first one and that gives them a four-point cushion. And these moments with the game hanging in the balance is exactly what Jason Tatum dreamed about. You want to be like Kobe? Time to make some shots. He's able to make it a two-possession game with some solid work at the line right there. They've got to take the first good shot they can find. And they've got to be efficient with the clock. Quick score, quick foul. Heel way outside. The 76ers again can't hit it. So we see Boston get the win here. They didn't make it easy on themselves or their field. But in the end, after one satisfied. Well, I mean, there were some times that, that momentum shifted, and, and, and especially early on. But let's give this group a lot of credit for that stick to itiveness in terms of finishing out and executing that game plan. We've got David Aldridge standing by on our sideline with the player of the game. David, it's all yours. Thanks very much, Jason. Congrats on the win. It was a slow start on offense. So what got you guys going in the second half? Uh, you know, Coach told us we didn't deserve to make any shots. You know, we were too tense. We weren't having any fun. Uh, you know, we started having a lot more fun in the second half. The guys were smiling and cheering. And we had some shots. Well, it's good to know that if you smile, you make shots. I'll keep that in mind. Congrats, man. Back to you. David, thank you as always. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. So long and good night, everyone.